out there, Peabody once again, and over by the Wayback Machine is my boy, Sherman. Uh, Sherman's the one with the glasses. Hello. What do you think of China, Sherman? It breaks awful easy, Mr. Peabody. <laughs> I'm referring to China the country, Sherman. For you see, today we're going back to 400 B.C., where we'll visit with that distinguished philosopher, Confucius. In a trice, the Wayback transported us from my penthouse apartment to the ancient province of Lu. I consulted the street directory and discovered that Confucius resided at 301 Chow Main Street. Why 301 over there, Mr. Peabody? But look, it's a penny arcade. Nonetheless, it was also the home of Confucius. Put a yen in a slot and Confucius gonna give you one of his very famous sayings. Uh, do you have a yen on you, Sherman? Sorry, Mr. Peabody. We don't have any yen, Confucius. Then can I give you a famous saying? Gotta make a buck, you know. Uh, look, could we come back later when you're through and have a chat? Why not? Confucius ends shift at 5.30. We'll see you then. Sherman and I went to the nearest restaurant. I drank four pots of tea, and Sherman consumed 892 fortune cookies. We then returned to the Penny Arcade, and to our surprise, the place was overrun with police. All right, break it up. Show's all over. Go home. Uh, pardon me, officer, but has a crime been committed? You bet your boots. Sorry, where's Mr. Confucius? And where's his stall? Sure, that's what we like to know. You mean Confucius has been kidnapped? Right. Also stall kidnapped. Boy, this very crazy modus operandi. While the police spread a dragnet, Sherman and I thought things over. Over some tea and fortune cookies, naturally. Sherman, that is your 1,000th fortune cookie. Do you want to spoil your dinner? I can't help it, Mr. Peabody. I like to read the fortunes. Uh -huh. What does that one say? It says, help, I'm being held prisoner on a junk. And it's signed Confucius. Well, this was obviously a great stroke of fortune cookie. Where are we going, Mr. Peabody? We are going to find that junk, Sherman. Well, where do you look for a junk? Where else but a junkyard? A moment later, we entered the only junkyard in town, and there, just casting off from the dock, was a sinister-looking junk. Quickly, Sherman, hop aboard. I'm gonna put you out of the way, Confucius. Then I make million yen. Oh, so kidnapper. Oh, very simple. Confucius say jokes very big in China. When you go, I start new game. You have new game? Right. What you call new game? I call knock, knock, who there? Knock, knock, who there? Peabody. Oh, happy day. It's honorable rescue party. Unfortunately, the honorable rescue party happened to be standing on a secret trap door. I was say before interruption. Oh, yes, you are talking about a new game. He tricked us, Mr. Peabody. We're trapped down here with no way out. There is always a way out, Sherman. One merely has to look for it. And look for it, we did. No steps, no ladders, no portholes, no nothing. Hmm, uh, what have we here? That's just a box of fish bowls. Then that's our way out. Step back, Sherman. I'm going to let the river in. But we'll drown, Mr. Peabody. No, we won't. Invert the fishbowl, Sherman. Put it over your head. Even if the water should rise above our heads, the fishbowl will contain sufficient air to allow us to float up through the trapdoor. That's the boy. Yes, sorry. Knock, knock, game. Brilliant idea. I agree. But please, Tom, for us the door. Confucius getting very wet. Oh, uh, hey, what's going on around here? How come river up to ankles? Perhaps the tide come in. Never come in like this before. Boat sinking, head for shore. Oh, no, no, no. Police on shore. Let the boat sink. Can you swim? Swim? What does swim mean? You better head for shore. Minutes later, the police had everything under control. You all right, Confucius? I'm fine, thank you. Good. Then we go to jail and you prefer charges against Genghis Khan. Well, let it go, Mr. Peabody. But did I hear right? Did he say that the kidnapper was Genghis Khan? Yes, Sherman, but I'm sure that by the time he's released, his name will be changed. To what, Mr. Peabody? To Genghis X-Khan. Let's go have some egg foo young, Sherman. <laughs> <laughs>